Welcome. Now, it's quite the time, and we're here with quite the message. We've been breaking this down. We know we have been channeling now for some time that for a specific group of twins that is coming together. And this channel is about to drastically change as I, <laughs> since this channel started. This channel has been naturally unfolding in real time. Um, we've naturally been unfolding together. And now that we're understanding what this journey is about, we're going to be focusing more on our soul's growth and the singular mind rather than the mind of duality and getting lost in being a twin and separate from what we came here to create. So we're going to be breaking this message down over time to really get the full gist of it because wow, I am telling you, this is quite the message and this has been quite the experience and I want to thank you all for being here to be a part of it. You know I love you. So I'm always sending such high vibes, high love vibes to everybody because we're all doing this together. We're all uniting and coming together to do this. And it's just reminded me of, you know, guys, I gotta, I gotta turn this down. Hang tight, hang tight. As I was coming to the realization of what was happening within these cups and the fact that when we look within these cups, we're seeing us reflected back to us. And it's us. And that the mission is our soul's growth. And how we're seeing how the dream of us, the story of us is a part of it and how it's a part of everything and how we're a part of everything and how we're going to expand with a deeper connection to being a part of everything to a part of it all. And that's why we are forgiving ourselves for tower moments, drinking from the cup of lust, you know, acting in lower vibrational ways because this is part of the whole experience of us. And we honor that we are creating elevations. We are creating harmonics. We are creating this. And we're having the experience in order to create it. This is the story of us. And this is the message that's being honored today. Now, we're going to go through this message. Like I said, we're going to be breaking this down over time. We're going to be getting into it to really make sense of what's happening here. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's just get into it right now. And there's going to be some other parts after this. We're going to be breaking it down even further. And the next time we meet up, we're going to be breaking it down even further to really get a grasp on what's happening here and how we're expanding. So we know we're coming together in the lands of the in-between. And we are creating this bridge. And we know that when the swords, we've been channeling this, when the swords meet the cups, night turns to day on the bridge of the lands of the in-between. We meet up. Now this has to do with what is happening, happening within the cosmos as well in order to birth this transformation. What's happening is Saturn is returning to Pisces, the Lord of Karma, how we structure and govern our lives, is coming home as returning to Pisces. Now, Pisces is the last sign in the Zodiac, the oldest sign in the Zodiac, and is going home to spirit, going home to be one with spirit. It's boundless. It knows no bounds. And we're having an official restart in airy season. Now, there is a chance with this cosmic, within the cosmos, for us to have a complete fresh start. And it will be official 
in Aries season 20, 20, 26, I do believe. I can't remember the official dates. But anyways, now we've been channeling this message here. Guys, this is intuitive astrology. It's a miracle that I make it here. I'm telling you, it's a miracle I even make it here to sit down. These are our gifts. I'll never forget when I first had my awakening, my father was crossing over and the sun and moon began communicating with me and I wanted to go to the hospital. Now my mom didn't take me, of course, because it was not part of the plan. It wasn't part of the divine plan. It was always, I was always meant to sit here and be here with you guys. Now I don't have as intensive communication the same way as when my father was crossing over but i do now communicate with the sky intuitive astrology and this is what being a star seed twin flame is and this is where we're going to lose a label use a label we're going to use the masculine we're not going to get lost in the label look don't get it look get lost in it because we're healing from having identity crises with who we are here we're going to use a label so that we can understand where to expand or what we're expanding. We're, we need to, to be able to use the masculine for, for what it's here for. Take that how you want to take it, guys. We're gonna have a little joke right now. We're gonna have a little joke. Sorry to any masculines joining in. I got masculine within me, so hey, I'm talking about myself. So, yes, we're gonna use the label and we're gonna understand, like, it's just like going back to a bowl of fruit. You know, common sense didn't go out the window on our spiritual quest as much as we're following these paths that are illogical because they're not logical, illogical because they're not of the heart. We can still use common sense, right? So whatever the sense is, I don't know, we're changing words. We're making the new right over here. So it's like we have a bowl of fruit. I have a bowl of fruit in front of me, but it's still helpful for, you, for me to know this is an apple and this is an orange, but it's all part of this bowl of fruit so i may be a star seed twin flame i'm resonating with that i'm resonating with that what that means but that's not my my identity okay i am this soul expanding this is just part of me this is just part of what i came here to be i became in here to step into my full multi-dimensionality and now i'm gonna do it i'm gonna rock it okay so I feel like we come full circle to where it started off, which is no surprise. So I was seeking, like I had, I, I had all this message had come together here for us to share at the channel of how we are seeing what's of us and we've come home to ourselves, And now we're going to expand our soul with our spirit. And that this is how we're building this bridge. We're not building this bridge without, we're not even focusing on building this bridge without. Cause that would mean we're separate. We're separate from our twin. We're separate from ourselves. We're separate from everything. We know we've gone home within. We're building this within. This is we've gone home to all of creation. We're part of everything. And we're going to expand our soul with our spirit. Okay? So then I had, of course, how how these how our past quite go. Like we we find this out within and then <laughs> the balance we manifest. You know, we find the seek the information within with the 13 spheres of knowledge, the feminine. In the unknown and then we expand it with the energy the masculine and we're doing this within and as this the balance will be restored from without then you uh, manifest experiences without to see that the information that you are seeking within is true and we can also see that if it's not what well, we resonate with what we don't remember we don't get upset with what we don't resonate with it's just there the same as the positive for us to for us to be authentic to know who we are and what level of where we're at. So some inf some videos came without in the 3D for me to watch to see that the, yes, what what the information being that had been found within was found without. And I was watching this guy's video and he was talking about, you know, he's the leading twin flame coach and just you have to do soul's work if you're a twin flame and what are we doing in these new age communities new age commu communities of religion and that you know we don't know what we're doing and we're just getting tarot card reading after tarot card reading and clearing the akashic records but we don't want to do like we just found the other piece of ourself well 
yes and no not necessarily true like yes look guys there comes a point in time where if you're just going to continue to seek tarot card reading after tarot card reading to get your twin back you're stuck in attachment you're stuck in codependency you're stuck in doing this work without not within you're running from the work that you have to do within and not and i don't you know that's that don't mean that to sound so personal and triggering but this is the real work the real work most of us don't want to do myself included okay because we we would have to transmute our pain we would have to sit with our pain we would have to sit with our sorrows we would have to stop telling our victim story templates out into the world we would have to stop that and that stuff feels comfortable to us why because it's in our habitual patterns it we've become we have become the ego self but it doesn't feel right to us that's how we got here to begin with we are going home to us to the singular mind to our, the this this complete connection to the you know the zero point of creation to be able to manifest our best lives we have to go home to us and this is what we're doing with it this isn't of the old where we're manifesting without and everything that is happening in our lives is being dictated without this is of the new this is of evolution this is restoring what's right this is restoring the way it's supposed to be before it got twisted and now we're coming home to ourselves. And this is where the game changes. And I don't like the word game, but we're going to use it. Look, this is where it changes because you make it to the next level. And literally, you have a healing but and an in ego integration as old self dies. And the connection to how we think the world works here. And this new self is birthed. A deeper connection to how this world is actually how it's operating because there are a set of rules here and principles to manifestation as you know you can't just change everything when you're manifesting when you step into understanding what a co-creator is and we are getting to a deeper level of understanding what a co-creator is so we also in two have to be able to let go of the past of what we've been co-creating and create with new patterns to get a different result thus stepping into a deeper level of understanding what co-creation is and not holding on to our creations of the past at such an intense level and with that ego mind associating that that is who we are that's our identity no this was experience that we came here to create with to understand with and all these experiences and then we have to heal with creation and we have to heal with time because you are not your past you are not your future. You are the present moment. And when you're in the present moment, this is the thing. You are connected to your past and using the nourishment of your past. And this is when we untwist it. We're not getting high off nostalgia lane from our past. No, we're using our past as nourishment for our present moment. Our experiences, our knowledge for us to be always evolving as co-creators. And then to be able to create it, to co to co-create a new at higher elevations and to be able to step into the unknown because remember we're leaving this ego mind this separate mind and we've gone home to the singular mind you know connection to our heart and now we're co-creating with the divine we have to make room for the unknown and we have to this is where like you hear the saying like trust that what is being built for you is going to be even better than you imagine plus it's a surprise and at this point we're not building this for an old an old world sense of for luxuries we're building this because this is part of us this is the story of us this is the story of life this is the story that we life of the life that we came here to experience and understand and it's at the highest elevation higher than we could possibly even imagine that's why we have to get you know we have to heal with the unknown and this is where we really step into this beautiful space as co-creators because we're like children again because remember we're restoring pleasure we're restoring pleasure with its rightful place place with creation this isn't i'm gonna seek pleasure and go have an orgasm or go have a glass of wine or go smoke a joint and get high this is a i am feeling pleasure because i am gone home to my heart to co-create and now my mind my thoughts are in alignment with my heart 
I'm operational and I can expand. And things are coming to me. I'm not going to them. I feel like this is a good part to stop because I'm breaking these messages up so you can meet when you feel called to meet where you feel called to meet. We're going to go to the next part of this message. We're going to explain it and then we're going to be breaking it down. And like I said, over time, we're going to be breaking this message down even further because this is really what we've come here to uncover because we've in, we've uncovered our mission because why we've uncovered ourselves and now we have to get comfortable with expanding our soul with our spirit and what that really means because this isn't in an old old earth way this isn't of the old this isn't a doing this is a being and how do i be one with life instead of going against it where what patterns have i been creating with that have become habitual whether they be pat whether they've been passed on through you know through my bloodline and the different ways we can pass them on you know okay even be passed on from from the woman from the baby being in the woman's uterus passed down through our dna or uh, like and we're doing all this work right and then to the 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 patterns we carry created from trauma from our wounds and patterns of separation these patterns are all keeping us confused stuck sick and separate selfish we're healing from selfishness we are all one we're expanding with all of life so we're gonna head on over to part two we're gonna share what's happening with the cards and we'll break this down further and go where you feel called to go as always i love you all see you i'll see you where i'm seeing you <laughs>